We've got a lot of feeding to do. Pretty much everything around here needs hay and I'm getting a late start, but at least I can now blame that on the newest member of the team. Yep, little girl, her name is Cora, K-O-R-A. Yeah, so we're super happy for that. So for today, I'm gonna try to go for a more aerial perspective. Um, you know, all the feeding out there, kinda in that last video, I did it all on the tractor, but we're gonna kinda get a view from the air in this one. And we're also gonna be using the tub mixer here. Gonna be mixing some hay up and feeding it around here, so that should be pretty cool. I'm gonna mix syrup with it and uh, put that sucker to use, so let's get going. Before we get to mixing the hay, I got a feed on the Kubota here. I've been feeding this set of calves every morning for probably the last three months. I always enjoy the days where I get time to film parts of my day like this. Um, a lot of times it's non-stop, but today was one of those days where I actually got to film and bring it for you guys to see. Here we just got to jump on the tractor, we're going to dish out a few round bells and then we're about to head back to the field where the old hay is and then we'll get to mixing.
and that's about the time the first battery went out. Not bad though. This sucker will fly a long time. But I got more, don't worry. You see, uh, the whole reason we're gonna be mixing this hay is that we have a bunch of this older hay that's mainly just straw. So we're gonna mix a good bell with one of these straw bells and then uh, put some syrup on top, mix it up, and then beat it on the ground. Before we get to mixing this stuff up, I gotta flush this pump out. I gotta run the store and get some gas real quick. But we got some new knives on this mixer, so it should chop it up pretty quick. And we haven't done this in about two or three years, so should be interesting. All right, let's get that motor flushed out and then get to mixing. All right, back from the store with the gas. Uh, we got a lot of factors at play here. This motor hasn't ran since the spring. We hadn't ran that tub grinder in two or three years. And there hadn't been syrup pumped out of the overhead pipe in probably the same amount of time. So hope those aren't clogged up. And we got to try to get all this done before dad rolls up, comes back, so I can get this video done, go at my own pace, and uh, do what I want to do with this video. So a lot to do. Let's get going. Well, kind of what I expected. Gonna have to go into the carburetor, flush some gas out. Sounded like she was gonna fire up on the first start, but of course not. There we go, clean the carb out, and she's pumping. All right, we got her motor hooked up. Now it's time to go mix some hay.
but it's always a disaster with the syrup. Figuring it out to these cows right here. I had to take the drone down, clean my phone off because they got all over my stuff. Oh well. Well, the whole syrup spraying thing kind of ruined that fun. Uh, I got to do that like two or three more times. I was wanting to have the drone out when I was out feeding it, but stuff got all over my phone, everything. So I had to take a minute to clean up. Might get it back out when we go feed the heifers. I'm not sure, but if not, that's it. Hope you enjoyed it. See you next time.